Here are the free grunge textures from least to most dirty that you can use for your models. Timestamps for each one will be in the description with the end covering how I get them to appear as transparent glass. For the first material, add a texture coordinate and a mapping node. You can either plug it in from the object or UV output into the vector of the mapping node. Now, add a noise texture, musgrave texture and a color ramp. The noise texture has a scale of 2.8, detail is 2, roughness is 1 and distortion is 0. For the musgrave texture, make sure it is set to FBM, scale is 5, detail is 10, dimension is 2 and lacunarity is 2. For the color ramp, we only want to move the black slider to 0.35 and change it to B spline. We can then duplicate these as we only need to change the color ramp by simply hitting this arrow button and flipping the color ramp. These are then to be plugged into a mix node that is set to color, then multiply with the factor set to one. We then want to add another noise texture set to scale five, detail 15, roughness to 0.55 and distortion to zero. Then this is to be plugged into a color ramp with the black slider set to 0.5 and the white shader to 0.6, making sure the color ramp is set on ease. You can then duplicate the mix node and connect the previous one into slot A and the ease color ramp into B. I then recommend plugging in another color ramp set to ease and set the white slider to a value of around 0.4, but this can be changed depending on how much you want the grunge to stand out. For the second material, like before, we're going to add a texture coordinate and a mapping node, with the output of the texture coordinate being either from UV or object. We then want to add a noise texture and a color ramp. The noise texture will have a scale of 5, detail of 15, roughness of 0.6 and distortion to 0.2. The color ramp will have the black slider to 0.3 with the setting of ease. Then we will want to add a noise texture, musgrave texture and a color ramp. The noise texture will have a scale of 2.8, detail of 2, roughness of 1, distortion of 0. The musgrave texture will be set to FBM, have a scale of 7.9, Detail is 10, dimension is 2, lacunarity of 2. The color ramp will be set to B spline with the black slider set to 0.35 and the white slider at 0. We can then duplicate the noise, musgrave and color ramp as we only need to change the noise texture to have the scale of 2, detail of 1.5 and distortion at 0.4. These will be connected using a mix node set to color then multiply with a factor of one. The noise texture and color ramp we did at the start will then be connected to another mix node, identically to the one we just did with the color ramp going into A and the mix node going into B. We can then add another color ramp and depending on how much you want the grunge to stand out, you can change the values of that. For the final material, add a texture coordinate and a mapping node. With the texture coordinate output, either being object or UV. Add a noise texture, Voronoi texture and a color ramp. For the noise texture, change the scale to 15.4, detail to 15, roughness to 0.2, distortion to 0.2. For the Voronoi texture, change it to 4D, smooth F1, Euclidean with the W being five, scale to 3.1, smoothness to one, and randomness to one. Change the color ramp so that it's set to ease with the white slider at zero and the black slider at 0.791. Then add another noise texture and color ramp. The noise texture will have a scale of 30.8, detail is 15, roughness is 0.4 and distortion is zero. The color ramp will be set to ease with the white slider at zero and the black slider at one. These two color ramps will then be plugged into a mix node set to color then multiply with a factor of one. Then we will want to add a noise texture, musgrave texture and a color ramp. The noise texture will have a scale of 2.8 detail of 2, roughness of 1, distortion of 0. The musgrave texture will be set to FBM, have a scale of 7.9, detail of 10, dimension of 2, lacunarity of 2. The musgrave and color ramp, the color ramp will be set to B spline with the black slider set to 0.35 and the white slider at 0. We can then duplicate the noise, musgrave and color ramp and we only need to change the noise texture to have a scale of 2, detail of 1.5 and distortion at 
0.4. These will be connected using a mix node set to color, then multiply with a factor of one. And then we want to connect these two mix nodes together, which can be achieved by duplicating one of the existing ones and then connecting them through the A and B port. Finally, with a color ramp plugged into the output. So how I turn it into glass with the grunge on, I add a principal BSDF where I plug the color ramp into the base color and roughness. This then plugs into a mix shader on the bottom input. The color ramp also plugs into the factor. Input B of the mix shader is then left for the transparent BSDF. I hope this video was useful. If it did help, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to help me in making more of these tutorials.